What's going on guys? It's Like a Hero and today I'm going to talk about Ghost of Tsushima. Now, this game made me want to get a PlayStation 4 and let me tell you, it is amazing. Now this video today is not going to be about how much I love Ghost of Tsushima because I could talk about that. There's plenty of reviews already. I think it's doing like spectacularly well as far as like general reviews and other, you know, big reviewers. Um, the gameplay is amazing, right? Environments, amazing. Story, amazing. What I want to talk to you guys about today is the announcement that was made today, August 17th, 2020, that there's going to be a free multiplayer DLC coming in the fall. It is kind of crazy, though, if you think about it, that the game launched last month on the 17th. And a month from that day, we have this big announcement, this huge drop that's going to come up. Four-player co-op, up to four-player co-op. We'll, we'll get into that in a little bit uh, as well. As always, make sure to hit that like button, guys. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm. We're all about that. Make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can be notified the next time I go live. Make sure you hit that little bell icon. You can catch my streams over on Twitch TV slash Like a Hero. And uh, let's get right into the video. Break down the video and see what this DLC is about. So the first thing that the trailer starts off with was is a pan shot of a Tori. These are traditional Japanese gates and basically what they do they lead to Shinto shrines and it's basically a symbol of the transition from like the mundane the regular to the sacred. So that's one thing that I noticed right away and you kind of see this transition of the shrine kind of going from this like really bright colored area to these dark reds. I don't want to go too much into the shrines themselves or sorry the gates and then the shrines themselves because uh, for spoiler reasons but just know that they are in the game it's like a part of the something that you can accomplish within the game but it's going from this like beautiful area right to this dark red area and then we're gonna pan out to see what looks to be a, an enemy of some sorts and all of this like darkness and death and these tori these gates are actually in different locations right and it's during that scene what it looks to be like is the heroes or i guess the player themselves coming out of one of those shrines now from the playstation website here they said that they've designed legends to be an exclusive cooperative multiplayer experience that includes anywhere between two to four players and there's going to be four classes now this is at launch there's going to be a samurai a hunter a ronin and an assassin now you get to choose between one of those and they do say that each class has unique abilities that will be revealed in the future so i've been kind of thinking about these uh tories this these what would be leading to shrines right it seems like there's been some kind of corruption from the PlayStation announcement, there's going to be two different modes. There's going to be a two-player mode and a four-player mode. The two-player mode, it seems to be explained as a co-op story mission with escalating difficulty. And uh, they kind of refer to the base game, the Ghost of Tsushima single player. And, but they add the, the concept of maybe synchronizing your combat, okay? The four-player mode seems to be like a horde resistance mode where you're going to fight a continuous wave after wave after wave, finding combinations of the toughest enemies that Tsushima has to offer, which include Oni enemies, which you kind of see here. Again, we're showcasing, they showcase a little bit of the abilities here from the enemies. They show a little bit of the actual classes. And yeah, that's it guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. Again, fall 2020. If you've been on the fence about this game, uh, definitely jump the fence, dive right in. It's a great game. I'm excited for it. I hope you guys are too. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Again, guys, we'll be as soon as they start releasing more information, you can find it here on this channel. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys later. I've got it. Damn, he just got struck by lightning. The heavenly strike couldn't save you. Oh, that's why it's called the Heavenly Strike. Yeah, it gets struck by lightning. Okay.